When I was in high school, my best friend sent me a link to a video he uploaded to YouTube. It was a cover of Katy Perry's hit single, I Kissed a Girl, in which he replaced all instances of the phrase, a girl, with your mom. <laughs> it was juvenile, and it sounded like styrofoam going through a garbage disposal, but it racked up almost a quarter million views before it was taken down for copyright infringement. He made me cover up his name here because he now works for the government and all your tax dollars like fund his continued existence. <laughs> Speaking of tax dollars, in case you're having trouble visualizing this scenario, this new behemoth on the Minneapolis skyline will hold 73,000 people. So just imagine three of them <laughs> filled to the brim listening to a 15-year-old boy play a terrible parody on an $80 guitar. Now, I'm neither an architect nor a graphic designer, but I feel like this is pretty solid. Um, at that same time, a man named Andy, what's up, Andy, um, started writing a book as a way to entertain himself. He sent it off to a few publishers, but nobody really seemed that interested, so he started posting it for free online. A few people wanted to read it on their Kindles, so he uploaded it to Amazon, complete with typos and a homemade cover. You can tell Andy isn't a graphic designer either. Amazon won't let you just give it away for free, because then how would they make a profit? So he started charging the minimum allowed, which is 99 cents. And now it sold millions of copies and has a blockbuster film adaptation starring Matt Damon. And thank goodness they changed the cover. <laughs> that man and that other boy sent their creations out into the universe, not in some grand ceremony, not with expectations of fame or fortune, but just because, why not? Why not just get it out there and let the world do with it what they will? So now, I work for this company called Wising. <laughs> we work with authors, uh, or I'm sorry, Wising started as a blog, just two publishers putting their ideas out there, and you should see where I'm going with this at this point in the talk. The blog took off and turned into a company. We work with authors who want to self-publish, which means that the author pays for the production and then gets 100% of the profits. For some, the professional speakers and the celebrities and the entrepreneurs, it can be a really smart financial choice. For others, like our friend Andy, they tried going the traditional route, but couldn't find a publisher to take a gamble on them. But instead of letting that manuscript collect dust in a drawer, they, <laughs> they work with us to send it out into the world. When everything clicks into place, our authors have been featured on the New York Post, Cosmopolitan. Here's one of our authors on the verge of overtaking Harry Potter in sales. We were proud about that. Um, other receptions are more humble and take years to go through their print runs. And I'm no stranger to a cool reception. This is my high school rap metal band. <laughs> We've only managed to rack up a couple hundred plays over the past eight years, and most of those were me. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that was one of my most successful artistic endeavors. I've spent a lot of long nights writing poems and songs and short stories and perfectly crafted tweets that only a couple people saw before they were sucked into the vast depths of time and space and internet. And after years of just putting things out there, finally, someone recorded one of my poems and put it on the internet. It's racked up a little shy of 40,000 views, not a blockbuster like The Martian or I Kissed Your Mom, but still 50 times the size of this room. Now, I'm not a great poet. I'm actually really mediocre. Uh, it's just out of the years that I got on stage, one time I wrote and performed one thing once that resonated with the world, and that was worth it. I know not everyone in here is a writer or a musician or an artist, but we do all have something that we can share. Maybe you made up a 14-day miracle ab routine. I would like to see that. Maybe <laughs> you made the world's best cranberry scone recipe. I would also like to see that. Thanksgiving's coming up. Maybe your cat does stupid shit and you catch it on video and put it on the internet. All these websites are user content driven. They're there because people want to hear from you and to learn from you and to be entertained by you. Now, this isn't about ego. I think that an egotistical person wouldn't be able to handle putting themselves out there with such a high risk of failure. It's about sharing your unique gifts with the world, which is admittedly just the plot of the children's book, The Rainbow Fish. <laughs> Andy Warhol, what's up, Andy? 
said, in the six, said this in the 60s, and now it's finally happening. Not everyone is gonna be a household name, but we can all have some impact that transcends our body and affects our communities and our culture and our world. Thank you.